What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We've got a fun unboxing for you today. Should be a fast one. I'm a little late on this knife, but um, I'm absolutely thrilled to have it in here today. Before we get too far into this CJRB unboxing, I want to say thank you to everyone who has already liked and subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below or the little logo in the corner. That'll help us out and it'll let you know when we have all the really cool stuff coming out. So yeah, you can head over to Instagram and follow us at WorkKnifeBalance939 as well. It's a great way to get in contact with us. Uh, send us knives for review or let us know what you want to do. Also, we try and stay fairly active just with replying to comments and stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into this. We've got a CJRB unboxing today and I am absolutely thrilled because... Like I said, I'm a little late on this knife, but um, it's one that I have been really excited to get in, so that it's finally here. Uh, yeah, this is something um, I'm super stoked to check out. We've got another button lock. The button lock frenzy is still firing pretty hot, so a lot of people are continuing to ride with these, but I've got the Pyrite Warney today. Oh, man. This is, ooh, hoo, hoo. I like that. I've seen a lot of these and reviews on this, uh, but they've been the stainless version, and I just wanted to get the blacked out version. Something a little different. I don't have a lot of black DLC or anything like that in my collection, so I wanted to get this, but this, the Pyrite has been absolutely fire. You probably saw our Pyrite XL. Uh, prototype video and so that made me want to get the warning even more and so I just kind of pulled the trigger finally and picking this one up but that action is fantastic that detent is strong not bad strong by any means but that is I really like that and oh man this thing is gonna be fidget central that button lock is f phenomenal the action on this is just so good that's Nothing that anyone should be surprised by. CJRB has probably the best button lock on the market right now. But um, yeah, while we got this out here, let's go ahead and do some quick measurements. Get this going. From tip to tail, we're looking at about seven and a half inches. Blade length, we're looking at about three and a quarter with a just under three, we'll say 2.8 on the cutting edge so this is going to be a compact knife it's going to be a fantastic edc knife this is going to be probably something i carry very frequently um, right off the bat i love that it is a solid button lock it's not something that you're going to have to worry about it's easy to manipulate there's not a lot of bounce with that blade it just really whips in there and snaps and after working it in a couple dozen times already that action is fantastic that feels now I I not the most educated on button locks and the button lock actuated system and everything, but I don't believe there is a true detent with button locks. I could be wrong, but I don't believe there's like a true detent ball with button locks. I'm trying to kind of look in here, see if I can see something, but. I don't see anything, but it feels very much like a true detent. I think it's something a little bit different, similar to like an access lock. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just an enthusiast, so I'll probably learn more. If you know, feel free to let me know in the comments because I would love to know a little bit more and learn a little bit more on that. But First off, impressions. This is really good, Ergo. I like that choil there because you can, you can definitely knuckle up on that choil. You can get in there really nice and it feels good. The hole for deployment is huge, very big. Not big enough to like get a finger through, but big enough to have really good action on. And then that button lock works fantastic either way. Comes pretty much dead center. Yeah, I don't see it swaying one way or another. That is really nice. And then the ergo is still just fantastic. You got some really good deep jimping on the top up here. I wish it would have continued a little bit further, but I uh, can't complain on that. Sitting on the AR RPM 9. So that is CGRB's button, or <laughs> button, CGRB's budget steel there. 
believe it's a powder steel, so it's something that they make and put together. So yeah, these are supposed to come in with a hardness of 59 to 61, I believe. Um, so I don't have anything to check on that, but it looks like a, it looks like a flat, I'm pretty sure it's a hollow grind. It's just, there's not much of a dip there, so it's, it's pretty thin. This is gonna be very slicey. I don't have calipers in front of me, but that looks and feels very thin feels fantastic I really like this do some quick comparisons we got the Ontario rat one up top Ontario rat two down below really close to that rat two size different blade style but really close to that rat two size which is good because this is a very common and popular EDC knife pair of two up top Go ahead and pull the Para 3 down below. Once again, pretty solid comparison to that Para 3. It's gonna be smaller once it's folded, but the blade size is really close there. Yeah, I'm excited. I will probably carry this one next couple days now that I've got it and just see where we go from there. I really like the chamfering that they did on the edge. I talked about this on the prototype for the XL they have this like half chamfer it's not a liner lock so it, it didn't make sense to me why it was there but after messing around with it a little bit more I think it is purely for ergo and access because it feels a lot better and I was talking with someone and I well if that wasn't there when you had your finger to hold over it would just feel a little bit big I, I don't think it would create a hot spot or anything without having that chamfering on there but it does kind of I guess it 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 crowns the edges with that chamfering so when you hold it in there it feels a lot better on it so I like that about it too you do have a lanyard spot right here and you have a really nice deep pocket carry clip so and it's ambidextrous so you can put that on either side which is really cool there I would love to see a little bit of color like if you had the all black but this was blue or green oh that'd be sick um, if you had like a green button and then some green hardware throughout, that would be pretty cool. Maybe that's something we could work on, getting that there. I think the black and green would look pretty sweet. Yeah. Overall, I would say this is a really solid knife. I love it for what it is already. I'm really digging the Warncliffe blade more and more. They are getting more and more popular and um, for good reason. It's a really nice blade to have it's great for edc use um, good penetration good slicing nice for cuts easy to use yeah this is a solid knife to have for edc and they're not expensive i want to say these come in at around 50 bucks um, so yeah we'll go ahead and put a link down below to amazon so if you want to pick one up it'll be the black one and the stainless one linked below they are not always in stock because they're so popular that was part of the reason as well it took me a while to get one because they weren't in stock the first time i wanted to get one but um yeah they are very popular blades and they are really nice i can see why they're so popular that action it still is just fantastic the way it just kind of comes in there and snaps down it's so, I'm trying to stop it halfway through like that. It is, it is really, really good. You have to like purposely want it to bounce if you just hold it. Otherwise it comes in and just like locks in place, which is really nice. And you don't have the like metal clanging sound either, which is something that some people like for some weird reason, but it really annoys me. So I like that. It doesn't have that on this one right here, so. Yeah, we got the all black CJRB Pyrite Warncliffe. So carry this one around. We'll maybe do a review. We might see some of this. Most times my unboxings end up becoming the first impressions and then we just hold it at that. Don't do many reviews unless it becomes part of my like monthly carry video. So which you'll probably see this in my monthly carry video for May. Now that I've got it early on in the month, this will probably be something I start carrying more frequently. So yeah. Until next time, though, thank you, everybody, for all the support. Like I said, we'll go ahead and put the link to this below. And feel free to check us out on Instagram. And please subscribe, like, and follow us here. So, yeah, until next time.
TTFN.